Hey everyone, Monique here and Steve's over there. Say hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. <laughs> we are out here on this glorious Colorado fall evening waiting for sunset. And while we do that, Steve's going to uh, set up his shot and figure out what he wants to do at sunset. But I thought this would be a great time to talk to you about accessories you can get uh, for your Sony 200 to 600 millimeter lens. We've done quite a few videos on this channel about this lens. We love it so much. We each have one. <laughs> <laughs> I have one, Steve has one. Uh, we use it all the time and we've come up with some cool accessories. Now, some of these we have and some of them we don't have. So let us know in the comments if you have them. And I actually have a bonus one on here. Uh, one of the accessories you can get for this that I talked about in a video, like <laughs> eight things we don't like about this lens is that look at how light colored it is. And if you're out somewhere and you want this to be darker, uh, what can you do? Well, you can get covers. You can get all kinds of different covers. And so usually they come in like these little strips that you put over the light uh, parts on this lens. Uh, so you can have a different kinds of camouflage. So there's the standard kind of darker green. Uh, and then there's, we saw one the other day that was kind of white with leaves, kind of like the cottonwoods and aspens that we get here in Colorado. Uh, so that might be kind of interesting. Uh, so there are some like that. There's some that just kind of stick on and some that cover have more protection to them too. Uh, so you could definitely get different kinds of skins for the lens. Ah, so there's a great accessory. All right, number two, Steve's kind enough to grab for me, is a teleconverter. We have the 1.4, it comes with this nifty case. And uh, so this gives you a little bit more reach for the 200 to 600. We did the math on it. What does it make this lens? 280 to 860, I think. Uh, so number two is the teleconverter. All right, let me put it back in this handy any case. We won't be needing that for landscape photography tonight. <laughs> All right, number three accessory you can get for the 200 to 600 is a new foot. Now we haven't gotten the entire foot before. Uh, so on these, <coughs> you can unscrew the foot right here. This unscrews, take the whole thing off and get an entirely new foot. Uh, what we've done is we've just put plates on the bottom. Now mine is for my spider holster and <sighs> When we originally got these, I thought, this is so heavy. I'll never wear this on my spider holster for very long. And we just did like half a mile in here and I had this on my spider holster. <laughs> and so that what that is, it's got these, these nibs here that go into this nifty belt. So let's see if I can show you. Huh? <laughs> see if I can stand up a little bit more. Here, I'll show you. So the nibs go in to the belt and it's just right there and you can lock it in there. Ugh. I love my spider holster and I also have this plate on the bottom of my 200 to 600, which I use all the time in my portrait photography. So I can just hang it right there. And you know, you don't want the weight on the camera. You want it on the lens. So there's all kinds of different plates you can get for the bottom as an accessory or just change out this whole shoe as it is because you could change out this, not need an extra plate and put it right onto an Arca Swiss uh, tripod head like what Steve's got on the bottom of his rig is the plate that just slides right into Arca Swiss, which this will do too. Uh, so kind of a two in one, there's a lot of different feet that you could buy for this. Uh, number four is a strap with a quick release. Um, Steve's got it on his camera. I'll get a close up for you. You can get those little dots. You can get a strap. There are on this camera, there's two spots to add a strap right here. If you can see that right there and right there, very secure. Uh, so he's got those little little dots that he can just quick release a strap on and off if he wanted to, uh, or you can just permanently put a strap on here. And I've done that, but I found that I had to have the strap at just the right length because what was happening was I would lift the camera to take a picture and the strap would get caught on the end. 
<laughs> uh, so I got to a point where I didn't like the strap and it just pulls on my neck. This is really, really heavy. Um, but that is also, that's a good accessory you can get if maybe you have a different lens on your body, but you want to walk with the 200 to 600 separately and be able to have it accessible right away. Uh, so that's a kind of a cool, uh, accessory you can get for these. It's already kind of built in ready for it. Uh, number five, we didn't bring out here today because <laughs> it's not raining, but a rain jacket thing. And you can get these really nice and uh, ready to last long term, but you can also get just these plastic, um, like clear plastic ones that kind of go over just temporarily, but you can get extra long ones uh, for this lens too. If you're in somewhere that's extra rainy, which we're not here, High Plains, uh, High Desert, Colorado, uh, but for snow, it could help a lot for snow too. Uh, this is a G lens, not a G master lens. So I'm suspecting it doesn't have quite as much uh, weatherproofing, but it's pretty good because uh, we have taken it out without a rain jacket. But when we went to the Pacific Northwest this last spring, we had rain jackets. So you can get them for this lens too. So if you're in an area uh, that you think you're gonna get some inclement weather, uh, you can protect your investment with a rain jacket. Ooh, number six, which you probably know now, but is filters. Steve has a really cool set of, I think it's Lee filters. We've done a whole video on this. You can get filters that go on the end of this. <laughs> um, it's a pretty, um, you know, pretty good size uh, lens, but he has a filter system that the filters sl slide in and out of the holder and it's, it's kind of cool to use it. Uh, a lot of people think of this lens as only for wildlife and fast moving subjects, but he's using it tonight for landscape. We're going to stitch some pictures together for a beautiful landscape. So you could definitely use filters on this lens and there's a million different kinds. Uh, the couple that we have that he's used more is like a graduated neutral density. Uh, it'd be nice to put a polarizer on there. Those are kind of the first go-to filters a lot of people get, uh, but there's a slew of them for different purposes. So filters are another cool accessory. Uh, okay, accessory number. Uh, okay, seven. Um, and this isn't like, this is more an accessory for your tripod, but it's kind of for your lens too, is a gimbal head. And we've talked about which particular gimbal head and tripod Steve uses. I don't use the gimbal head too much. I don't, I like to handhold, but the gimbal head is great because you get that Arca Swiss mount for the foot, you know, get that accessory or just get a whole new foot and then you put it on this gimbal head and you have so much more fluid movement, you can move the lens around. Um, so uh, I know a lot of wildlife photographers get really used to using a gimbal because it's heavy to hold this all the time. Uh, so a gimbal head would be a really nice, if you've got a gift uh, that you need to get someone that kind of has everything if they don't have a gimbal head, that would be a real surprise gift. I'm just saying. Whew. My, my foot's falling asleep, but I'm doing this for you, okay? Uh, number, number eight. This is technically the last one, but I have an extra. Number eight is, um, what is it called? Like a, a window bean bag. We have one, um, so I'll pull, put some footage here of ours, but it's a bean bag specially made if you're driving through somewhere and you wanna shoot from your car, you put it on your window roll your window down, put it down, and then this has a nice stable spot to set it there. So for places that you, it's too tight to bring a tripod, uh, a window bean bag is really a great accessory. Okay, <laughs> and then a bonus one, uh, it would be a pouch, like a lens case, specifically the case for this lens. Again, like if you're going to walk around with it, not on your camera, but you want it accessible right away, but out of the elements, a case to put the whole lens in uh, is nice too. We have one, we don't use it that often, uh, but if you're planning on maybe backpacking a lot with this or going down trails, especially again, in inclement weather or where you think you might bang it around at all. Maybe you have to strap it on the outside of your bag for some reason. Uh, there are really nice padded cases you can get for this lens. 
Ooh. Ooh, the wind is picking up. Oh, darn. <laughs> oh, we wanted kind of smooth water for this. We've been wanting to share this for a while. There's some really cool accessories that you can get for the lens specifically. Um, and, and they make really great gifts for someone. Again, if you know someone who kind of, you think it has everything, maybe they need a new um, cover, you know? Maybe there's something else that they hadn't thought of getting. So that'd be a fun thing to get them or get yourself. Just get yourself uh, one of these accessories, right? Yes. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to look around, see if I can see any of the critters I've been waiting for. I've got this all ready to go. Thanks everyone for watching. Say bye, Steve. Bye, Steve. <laughs> okay. See you in the next video. Like, subscribe, do all the things. Okay. Now, hopefully my feet haven't fallen asleep sitting down here in the grass. Oh gosh. Oh, I did it. Woo! <laughs> My Vanna White. <laughs>